Hi Facebook, this is Catherine. I'm going to try this again. I tried to go on live and for some reason my service was, it kicked me off. And I, I don't know, I sit in the same exact spot all the time. So I don't know what's going on. Anyhow, hey, it is Friday. It is the weekend and I'm really excited to be joining you guys here live on Facebook. And tonight's topic, what we're going to talk about tonight is how to get our partner, our significant other to love us even more. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love love. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. So if I can get somebody to love me more than they do, score. Um, so these topics that we're going to talk about, these tricks and, and, and tips, they're not really tricks because, of course, we don't want to trick anybody <laughs> into loving us. However, if you've been in a relationship for like more than a minute, then probably you've already fallen into some kind of a routine. So these pieces of advice are strictly advice <laughs> on how we can help our relationship to be even stronger than it is today. So the very first thing that we want to talk about is appreciation. Now, if you know me at all, you know that my number one most important thing is gratitude and about how important it is for us. And obviously with the relationship and the person that we're with, it's extra, extra important. Gratitude goes a long way. So we probably are used to, in our relationship, having kind of each person do certain things. So even if your person is the person that always takes out the trash or always kills a spider, <laughs> whatever the situation may be, make sure that we're appreciative when those they do those things, even if it was something that was prearranged before you started your relationship that you won't go near a spider. You know, we're talking about me right now, right? <laughs> Just make sure that you're very appreciative when they handle that very scary situation for you. The second thing that's important for your partner, for them to really appreciate you and love you more, is when we give them space. Get out of their hair. Guys, the best part about you and your partner is that the two of you are completely different people and you both bring something wonderful to the relationship. So if you're together all the time and you never let them go be themselves or you take time for you and build your individual individuality, <laughs> then guess what? You're going to get lost in each other. Give them space. Let them do their things without them asking you for it. Let them go. Trust your partner and you take time for you so that when you're together, it's that much sweeter because, you know, absence makes the heart go fonder. When you're not with each other 24-7, when you are with each other, you're going to appreciate appreciate each other and really enjoy that time that you have. Um, the third thing that is helpful in a relationship to get your partner to love you even more is to offer to do the things that they hate to do. So... I would hope that my partner would never ask me to handle a spider situation, <laughs> but if there's something that you know that your partner hates, you know, maybe they hate cleaning the bathroom and you share chores, which is great and is something that you should do, but you know that that's the chore that they hate the most, just offer to take that one over. Just do something that you know that they hate doing and they can really be appreciative of you, which will of course make them love you more because appreciation is great. Okay, number four, this is huge. And I know that this did come up in my relationship once because my life is, is constant. I work both coasts of the United States. I'm constantly on for work. I have a lot of responsibility. However, I was having a little bit of a relationship with somebody else and that somebody else was my phone. So guys, one thing that's super important for your partner to love you even more is to make sure that your relationship is with them and not your electronics. So stare into their eyes, not the eye of the phone. So take that time, even if it's just two hours a day that you take your phone and you put it away, put it to the side, whether it be in the morning or in the evening after dinner, don't even look at your phone. Spend that quality time. One of the most important things for any relationship, <laughs> thanks Colleen, one of the most important thing for any relationship is quality time, right? So if we're being interrupted constantly, we're not gonna really have that quality time. So put the phone away, spend time with your significant other. Okay, this one's a very interesting thing. So in order for our relationships to stay very, very strong, we need to fight fair. Now, I hope that you guys never ever get in fights with your significant others, but sometimes 
it happens. So one thing that's super important in any relationship, work, your children, your significant other, friends, if you're going to be in a confrontation, be fair about it. Don't dig up old things. Don't don't be nasty in any way, shape, or form. When we use the word we, <laughs> we are going to communicate. We can work through this as opposed to you or I when you're talking about disagreements or situations. It helps it to feel a little bit more cohesive and you need to make sure that you keep it on the up and up and stay very clean and stay very fair because many times when we're in a situation of confrontation, emotions can be high. And when our emotions are high, it's very easy to kind of lose ourselves and say things that might not even be something that we completely in our soul mean. So if you're conscious of being aware of yourself and staying very clean and fair in your discussions, then that's going to make your relationship much stronger and make your partner really respect you and love you even more. Okay, moving on. Let your partner vent. <laughs> Sometimes, now I'm a woman. <laughs> I hope you knew that. But I'm a woman. We tend to kind of vent a lot. So sorry, guys. But guys tend to hold things. They bottle things up. They're the fixers, right? They fix things and, and they're the ones that kind of need to do that. So they tend to hold their emotions inside. Sometimes when they get to that point when they need to just vent about something, guess what? They don't really want anything from us. They just want to know that they can vent to us. So whether you're a guy or a girl, if your partner needs to vent, just let them vent and don't feel like you need to give any of your opinions on what they said unless they ask for it. So let them do what they need to do. If they ask you for advice, great, give it. But if they don't, just let them know that you can be there for them when they need you. So let them vent when they need to. Okay, two more things. Number one of the two, which is actually number seven on our list, is to celebrate any success of theirs. So, you know, sometimes we're just used to going through our day and, and maybe they, you know, maybe they lost five pounds and or maybe they, you know, had a really great day at work and they met a new client. Congratulate them, celebrate something. Isn't it wonderful to just be able to celebrate with your loved one? Find things to celebrate every single day because guess what? There might be a come, a come a day that we don't have anything to celebrate. So while you've got it, take advantage of it. And then the very last way to help your partner fall even more in love with you, flirt. Guys, we get into these relationships, right? And we flirt in the beginning and we, we toy with each other and we're coy and we, you know, we do jokes that might, you know, have a little other meaning. But then we get comfortable and we wear our sweatpants all the time. And I feel like, you know, like, why do I have to put on makeup when I'm home? Because they know what I look like. Dress up, bring it sometimes and flirt with your significant other. Because guess what? I bet somebody else is trying to. So you don't want that to happen. You flirt with your significant other so that it's you that they're always, always, always thinking about. So guys, tonight's story, our communication was very light and fluffy. It was about how to get our significant other to love us even more. I hope that you liked it. It was just easy um, and fun. I just really wanted to spend some time with you guys. If you enjoyed it, please let me know. Let me know if you have any great ideas on how to get your loved ones to love you even more because I will steal them. Hopefully there's a lot of them because anything I can do to get Danny to love me more, I'm all about it. So guys, have a great night, an awesome weekend. I hope to see you. And if you're New Englanders, go Pats. If I don't talk to you before then, let's kill it. All right, guys, have a great night. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.